The member for Macquarie has the call. Thank you, Madam Deputy Order. Speaker. The member for Macquarie cannot be heard. The member for Macquarie. Thank has you, Madam the call. Deputy Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. I remind the Prime Minister that the most recent determination from the New South Wales Pricing Authority clearly states that the carbon tax makes up 80 per cent of all recent increases in electricity prices for integral energy customers. With customers of integral energy in Western Sydney already hurting due to the rising cost of living, why is the government hitting them with a carbon tax that forces up prices but doesn't reduce Australia's greenhouse gas emissions? The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you very much. And, uh, as we can see, the opposition's uh, campaign of fear and distortion continues. Uh, the member who asked the question apparently never asked herself what was the impact for her constituents and businesses in her electorate as electricity prices went up 70 per cent, 70 per cent uh, because of factors associated with investment in the poles and the wires and the operation of the electricity system in New South Wales. She never asked herself the question as the current state Liberal government delivered its budget with big dividends from state electricity assets. She never asked herself the question, what does that mean for my constituents or businesses in my electorate? She never concerned herself about those huge rises in electricity, presumably because at that point she was following the Leader of the Opposition down a false and misleading path and pretending either these increases hadn't happened or they were the result of carbon pricing, even though they actually predated when carbon pricing started. Well, unlike the member who asked the question, I am concerned about those electricity price increases. Unlike the Leader of the Opposition, I don't deny that they exist, and we are determined to act on them. And We will be working, hopefully cooperatively, with state and territory colleagues, including the New South Prime Wales Minister Government, will to act on them. Her seat. The Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, to be directly relevant, doesn't the Prime Minister need to refer to what she said about the New South Wales Labor government when that was in power uh, and was Prime rising Manager electricity prices? The Manager of Opposition Business will prices? resume his seat. The Prime Minister has the call. Uh, thank you very much. and I thank the member for Sturt for proving my point that people know that there are other sources of electricity price increases apart from carbon pricing. I uh, thank the member for Sturt for proving that point for me. Uh, he must have got the memo from the Leader of the Opposition that they have suddenly repositioned, though they started this parliamentary fortnight saying such increases did not exist. Now, of course, they have been forced to acknowledge them because their state colleagues were talking about them and all of the experts we're talking about them. Uh, for the cost of living pressures in the members' electorate, including from electricity prices, when it comes to carbon, we always said that households would see, on average, an increase of $3.30 and that's why, per week, and that's why, on average, we've provided assistance of $10.10. When it comes to assisting the people in her electorate with cost of living pressures, uh, we've increased the support for childcare because what was left to us by the former Howard government and the leader of the opposition wasn't good enough for Australian families. We put in place the school kids bonus to help with the costs of getting the kids to school. Uh, we have delivered tax cuts, including now, of course, making sure you can earn $18,200 without paying a cent of tax. We have delivered an historic pension increase because we understand that older Australians can do it very tough. We will continue to work with Australians on their cost of living pressures. What we'll see from the opposition is just more fear oh, and more time has expired. The member for Greenway is seeking to table a document. Macquarie, my apologies. <laughs> I was doing well before. The member for Macquarie. Madam with Deputy somebody, Speaker, somebody I on seek, the other side calling out was I making seek me. leave to table page four of IPART's fact sheet headed Changes in Regulatory Electricity Prices from 1st of July 2012. Macquarie will resume her seat. The Leader of the House. No, and I table the BHP billeting statement from yesterday to help the Leader of the Opposition.